Welcome to TechnoThinkers YouTube channel. Please like comment and subscribe to our channel. What is a sensor? Different types of sensors with applications. Introduction to sensors. The world is full of sensors. In our day-to-day -day life, we come across automation in all the activities. Automation includes turning on lights and fans using mobile phones, controlling TV using mobile apps, adjusting the room temperature, smoke detectors, etc. All these are done with help of sensors. These days, any embedded system-based product has inbuilt sensors in it. There are many applications like mobile-controlled CCTV camera, weather monitoring and prediction apps, etc. Sensors play a very vital role in healthcare monitoring and detection. Therefore, before building an application using sensor, we must understand what exactly does a sensor do and how many types of sensors are available. What is a sensor? A sensor is defined as a device or a module that helps to detect any changes in physical quantity like pressure, force or electrical quantity like current or any other form of energy. After observing the changes, sensor sends the detected input to a microcontroller or microprocessor. A sensor is defined as a device or a module that helps to detect any changes in physical quantity like pressure, force or electrical quantity like current or any other form of energy. Finally, a sensor produces a readable output signal, which can be either optical, electrical, or any form of signal that corresponds to change in input signal. In any measurement system, sensors play a major role. In fact, sensors are the first element in the block diagram of measurement system, which comes in direct contact with the variables to produce a valid output. Let us know some kind of its types and their applications as follow. What sensor actually means? Classification of sensors Active and passive sensors Analog and digital sensors Active sensors Active sensors are the type of sensors that produces output signal with help of external excitation supply. The own physical properties of the sensor varies with respect to the applied external effect. Therefore, it is also called as self-generating sensors. Examples, LVDT and strain gauge. Passive sensors. Passive sensors are the type of sensors that produces output signal without the help of external excitation supply not need any extra stimulus or voltage. Example, thermocouple, which generates a voltage value corresponding to the heat, applied. It does not require any external power supply. Analog and digital sensors Different types of digital and analog sensors are listed below one by one with their applications. different types of sensors there are different types of sensors used to measure the physical properties like heartbeat and pulse, speed, heat transfer, temperature etc. Types of sensors click image to enlarge. Analog sensors the sensor that produces continuous signal with respect to time of analog output is called as the analog, analog sensor. output generated is proportional to the measured or the input given to the system. Generally, analog voltage in the range of 0 to 5V or current is produced as the output. The various physical parameters like temperature, example, stress, accelerometer, displacement, speed sensors, etc. are pressure examples sensors, for continuous light sensors, signals. temperature sensors, air sensor, infrared sensor. When we look into electromagnetic spectrum, infrared region is divided into three regions as near-infrared, mid-infrared and far-infrared region. 
Infrared spectrum has a higher frequency range than microwave and lesser frequency than visible light. An infrared sensor is used for emitting and detecting ear radiation. There are two types of ear sensors as active and passive ear sensors. Passive ear sensor. When sensor does not use any ear source to detect the emitted energy from the obstacles it acts as a passive ear sensor. Examples like thermocouple, pyroelectric detector and bolometers comes under passive sensors. Passive ear sensor, active ear sensor. When are there two components which acts as ear source and ear detector it is called as active sensor. LED or laser diode act as ear source. Photodiode or phototransistors acts as ear detector. Active ear sensor, related post, per infrared motion detector circuit diagram, working in applications. Temperature and thermocouple sensors. As discussed analog sensor produces signals that are continuously varying with time. The output value from the sensor will be very small in range of microvolts or millivolts. Due to this, signal conditioning circuits are required for amplification. Analog to digital, at, converters are used to convert the analog signal obtained into a digital value. Temperature sensor sends the temperature and measures the changes in the temperature. Other types of temperature sensors are thermocouples, thermistors, resistive temperature devices, RTD and temperature sensor X, LM35, etc. Proximity sensor Proximity sensor is a type of non-contact sensor used for object detection. The object whose distance is to be measured is known as target. An air light or electromagnetic radiation is used in a proximity sensor. There are different types of proximity sensors like inductive, capacitive, ultrasonic, etc. Material detection, reverse park sonic sensors are used to measure distance or travel time using ultrasonic waves. The travel time between the transmitted wave and reflected wave is measured using ultrasonic sensor. Optical sensors use two different elements for transmitter and receiver. And reception. The sensor accelerometer is a type of sensor that is used to detect changes in position, velocity, and vibration by sensing motion. In depending on volume of acceleration applied to accelerometer, continuous analog voltage signal is produced. Accelerometer gyroscope sensor to sense and determine the orientation with the help of Earth's gravity i.e. measures the angular velocity. The main difference between accelerometers and gyroscope sensors is that gyroscope can sense the rotation where accelerometer can't. Gyroscope sensor The main difference between accelerometers and gyroscope sensors is that gyroscope can sense the rotation where accelerometer can't.